Hey guys, boy, do I got you a treat for you guys today. Um, I was doing some research on some more micro compact guns because I am not willing to give up on micro compacts despite my extra large glove hands. Um, so I kind of stumbled upon the Shadow Systems CR920P, the compensated version. It intrigued me quite a bit. And the more research I did, the more I really liked this firearm. Um, so I kind of went hunting on my day off. I kind of went hunting to a bunch of different stores and I actually found it at a local gun store of mine. And here she is. It is the one with the bronze barrel. I would rather have the one with black barrel, but I was just super excited. I even found this in the stores because it is relatively new and I hear it hasn't quite hit the shelves quite yet. So I was actually surprised I even found one. My first impressions of this firearm, I really, really like it. I like the way it feels in my hand. Even with my huge mitts, it feels really, really good. Before we go down to the tabletop, one thing um, I want to say for all my big-handed people out there is when you are taking this out of your holster, because I was kind of practicing with um, my T-Rex Arms Glock 43X holster, um, one thing you're going to have to keep in mind is when you are taking this out of concealment, you really got to stab up in that gun to get a full grip because I barely get a full grip with um, the extended 13 round mag in there. Can it be done? Yes. This is a very small and light firearm and that is kind of the reason I bought it. I want one that I can carry 90% of the time and it's not going to hurt my back as I'm carrying it around every single day. Um, I've kind of been getting sick of carrying these full size and big compact firearms with an extra magazine all the time. I want to try to slim things down to where I can take it easy on my back because I am starting to get old. I know I'm only 34, but my back is starting to feel it, especially carrying my kids around all day long. The last thing I need is more stress on my back. Um, but let's take a closer look at this thing. Um, let's go down to the tabletop and give this thing a closer look. All right, guys, welcome to the tabletop. Okay, a few pros about this gun, the CR920P. I have extra large hands. This gun feels really big for a micro compact size firearm. Okay, the grip is just long enough with this 13 round mag. Um, one thing, this actually does fit exactly 13 rounds, so you can go 13 plus one in this gun. With this extended mag, okay, my pinky barely hangs off the bottom, and I'm okay with that because it's very concealable. My hand can get right up in there. This extended beaver tail allows me to not get slide bite on the firearm. Now, most Glocks that I own, I do not get, actually all Glocks that I own, I do not get slide bite. Um, I don't know if that's just the way my hand is built, um, but I never get slide bite, so I never have an issue with that. So if you do have an issue with slide bite, this extended beaver tail is going to help with that. The sights, these are night vision, I believe night vision. Yep, um, tritium sight in the front, blacked out rear in the back. Um, these sights are fantastic. I really do like this sight. I don't know what it is about this gun, but when I go from high ready and I press out, the sights are on every single time. The optic plate, they pride themselves about their optic cut. Okay, I am going to put a Hollow Sun 507K on there eventually. Um, when I take it to the range, I'm going to throw that on there. I wanted to do a quick review with it off just so you can see it. Um, with the optic off, um, but they have their own uh, screw holes in there that accept a multitude of different optics, and that's really cool. And another thing that they include with their um, with their case that you get here is it comes with screws for your optic, which is really really nice. So they have a spacer for your optic and they have a screws for your optic as well so you don't have to worry about like in this case hollow sun shipping me screws to fit in this optic they ship it right there with you um, they have a little 
booklet here that actually shows you what screws go with what. Oh, right there. Okay, so it shows you exactly what screws go with what kind of optic. That is pretty cool. It also comes with a punch, and this punch is meant for the comp. So there's a little pin in there that you just press out, that you just push out with this punch, and you can take the, the compensator directly off to clean the barrel, which is really nice, really easy to take on and off. If you do buy one of these, it shows you exactly how to do it in the back of this book. Um, there you go. Shows you how to take the comp off right there. You just push out the pin. I'm not going to do that here on YouTube because they'll probably freak out on me. All right. Obviously, my favorite thing about this is the compensator. I heard it reduces recoil by about 40%. So I will see when I take it to the range exactly how much recoil that um, takes away. I heard this is a very flat shooting gun, so I am very excited about that. I absolutely love the aesthetics of this gun, how it looks. This is the Elite version. As of right now, they only sell this gun in the Elite version. I like the milling that they have. If you go one way, it's incredibly smooth, and then you come back the other way, and it's very, very aggressive. I really like that about this firearm. And these top serrations are very handy for a small gun like this for you to press check with. I do really like the trigger. Well, let me show you what the trigger feels like, okay? Actually, you don't know what it feels like. I can show you what it looks like, okay? It has a little bit of slack there, just like a Glock, and you hit that wall, and you press through the wall, and it's right there. Um, there's no false wall like I had in my MR920, and I heard a couple of CR920s. You got to that wall, and then you actually had to push past the wall, and then it broke. I didn't really like that with my MR920. That's kind of why I got rid of it. But it seems like they fixed it with this firearm. So here's the reset. It... Okay, that one's actually... Yep, that's pretty short. Let me try it one more time. Nice and right there. Okay. It's pretty nice. Not a lot of take up there. Okay, and it goes into a very defined wall. I really like that about the trigger. Um, they It does have a rail for a light if you are into having a light on a gun this size. This size, in case you're wondering, is a Glock 48 size firearm with the length here. Um, if you use the, the flush fit mag, it's actually the size of a Glock 43. Okay, where you're fitting two fingers there. Okay, and then it has a 48 slide, which I guess a lot of people like. I don't really like that. I like having a full grip on the gun, so that's why I will always be using this um, extended mag on there. Okay, um, so the holster I am going to be going for is a Glock 48 MOS holster, and I'm going to try the Zyphos Elite. I heard that just came out. Okay, so that is coming in in a couple weeks. Um, I really do like that the, this um, memory ledge right here. Um, they, some people call it a gas pedal. I don't really use that for recoil, recoil control. That is just a spot for my thumb to rest. The way I control recoil is vicing the gun in with my palm and the top of my hand here, kind of vicing it in like that. That's how I control recoil. Um, but that is a nice touch to have that on there. It's like a little memory spot for your thumb down the grip there. Okay, And like I said, I have extra large hands and my thumb still rests on that memory ledge. So keep that in mind, guys, with really big hands, this gun can work for you. The only two things I don't like about this is the grip. And now the grip, I don't like for one particular reason, okay? Um, it's not carrying this. This part does not bother me carrying it, okay? That can ride against my belly all day long, and that does not bother me. Believe it or not, the side panels are less aggressive than the front and the back, which is what a lot of people want. Uh, me in particular, but the only problem I have with this gun is because my hand is so big, uh, when I wrap around it, okay, my knuckles go right under the trigger guard because it has to. Usually on a firearm, you want the middle of your, in between the trigger guard, in between your knuckles there. Um, the problem with that is I have a little gap right there, and that's a no-no for me. Okay, so I kind of have to wrap my hand all the way around to close that gap there. Okay, and now the problem with that is this side 
right here really digs into the bottom of my knuckle on the underneath of my hand here okay it's very uncomfortable i do not like that one bit um i like that they put that on there but for me and the size of my hand it is not going to work for most of you out there that have smaller hands um, this won't be a problem for you um, but for us guys with bigger hands that might be an issue with it rubbing your fingers raw um, so I actually ordered already some talon grips for this exact gun for the CR920 because it's actually the same exact frame here all right and I'm gonna try that out I'm gonna see how that feels with the talon grips on there hopefully it doesn't cut um, it doesn't rub my hand raw anymore um, the second thing I really don't like about this firearm is this little wing they put on the back side of the slide release um, it's very sharp um, if you can tell it's pointed um, it's actually kind of pointing upwards too and let me tell you when you lock the slide back it's even pointing even more upwards <laughs> okay that is really gonna when you press if you miss the actual slide release and you press into that that is incredibly sharp and I do not like that one bit um, I wish they would just cut that off and just kind of have like that Glock um, style slide release because really you should be pressing on the top of that anyway when you're releasing the slide I think I am most likely if I keep this firearm and I'm going to use this firearm for everyday carry I am going to cut that part off um, for sure um, and another thing about it is when I press my hands together, I can already see issues with that part locking the slide up um, during a string of fire or it possibly not locking back on the last round. Um, one thing that I, I know people are asking is, can I take my CR920 and just buy the barrel and the compensator? I'm going to, um, uh, my educated guess is going to say no. I do not think, if they're smart, I do not think they are going to sell just the barrel and the comp for the CR920. And another reason for that is if you look on the front here, the end of the gun is very squared off. Okay, it's very square all the way around. And if you've seen the, um, the CR920s, it's kind of beveled all the way around to help with like reholstering, right? Well, this is cut straight to actually fit perfectly with the comp. So really this slide is not the same as the CR920. Aesthetically in the front, it is a little bit different. So I believe this barrel and comp will not work with the CR920. Um, I don't have a CR920, so I can't really test that out, that theory out, but that is my educated guess on that one. I'm sure that question is going to come up quite often with this gun. But really, this gun checks a lot of boxes for me, um, especially for big guys wanting to carry a micro compact because I want something that's a lot lighter and easier to carry. I think this fits the bill perfectly for me. All right, welcome back up top. I hope you got a lot out of that review. That was a, actually a lot of fun to review because this gun has a lot of good features in it that I really like, especially for a guy with really big hands. I am going to go to the range and shoot this in about a week. So I am planning to do another review here in about a week or so on how the range visit goes. I'm hoping my buddy can get um, some footage of me actually shooting this gun, but I am super excited about this firearm i haven't been more excited about a firearm in a long time than this micro compact comped firearm i hope you guys all follow me on this build this is going to be a super fun build i hope this turns into my everyday carry 365 days a year okay it doesn't matter if it's winter summer whatever um, i'm hoping this will turn into that so i hope you guys stay tuned and enjoy the process of going through the phases of this firearm. Thank you all for watching. Remember to train hard, get strong, be a protector. If no one said they love you today, I love you guys. God bless you all.